again. My own requirements from an acoustic guitar do um, have a fundamental starting point in having an instrument that um, projects in a smallish venue without any kind of amplification whatsoever. And you, what you're hearing is um, in one of the versions of one of the songs I do, uh, an old uh, folk song called My Donald, where, the, where you're doing a sort of rippling pick, very similar to this. And you're looking for that projection, you want the guy at the back to hear the to hear the, uh, the the sound, but also the nuance as well. So if you if there's a little bit of a bit of the uh, the, the tune that's uh, then you want that you want all these you want all of that to be heard. Um, Separation between the bass and the treble is absolutely crucial. This instrument has it all. This is uh, this is the so you're looking you're looking for something where you might play something with a walking bass. Um, that's lovely. That really that really does it. You can hear the crispness of the bass as it's moving up and down, and every treble note is clear as well. So it's got great balance. Um, the pickup system is pretty important because I do a lot of uh, amplified gigs, as it were. This has got a good Fishman ellipse job in it, um, which is going to just essentially amplify the qualities of this instrument. Um, so you've got those two things, you've got great separation, different styles and different techniques. You've got the sort of, uh, the, the sort of blues approach, you know, where, where you're... Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a real life in there. I'll just take that, uh, the A down to G temporarily, because this may be how you would... Uh, style it works works wonderfully. Um, I tend to do a few uh, bluesy picks in, in the Bill Brunsy style this, and that relies on quite a lot of string stepping. So you've got this in great for that as well. That's another requirement. That's feeling extremely good using that. Um, the wonderful uh, Gary Narva has actually constructed this instrument. Indian rosewood back and sides. Uh, lovely two-piece back there. Um, and uh, Engelman spruce top. Um, and with the specs mostly sort of thought up by myself, although really you know, I've, I, you don't always know what you want until you've got it sometimes, it's really, really interesting. Um, so it takes all those stars, even a neo sort of classical approach, you know, as I mentioned before, just... Um, etc. It will seek that as well. Uh, and then finally, we've got this... Um, You've got the sort of obviously you've got the uh, that kind of thing. It's just sort of ragtime. Uh, I do a bit of that as well. And then finally, there's the Celtic stuff, which of course involves drop tunings. The most obvious one being being the uh, the, the drop D. Sort of thing. Bit of found harm 
blown in there. And uh, this is. Uh... <laughs> to the old uh, dead dog tuning, dad gun. Much hackneyed by uh, all and sundry. Um, March the 17th, it's St. Patrick's Day, 2011, uh, and for once in my life I'm not having to do some sort of mindless Irish gig, um, and this is uh, the day the guitar has been presented to me. It's uh, one of the finest uh, instruments I've ever played, if not the, and um, uh, with a little more time this is going to... Uh, open out and mature and uh, become part of me, which is what an instrument should be. So, um, thanks very much for, for listening. And, uh, this is the all-purpose acoustic guitar for the all-purpose acoustic.